My name is Belinda Davis. I'm the orchid conservation scientist at Kings Park. My project deals with the orchids of Western Australia and we're really lucky here in Western Australia to be not only in a biodiversity hotspot but a hotspot for orchids as well. We have just close to 400 species of terrestrial orchid in WA and 42 of those are listed as threatened. So a lot of the work that I do here is conservation, so translocations of very threatened species back into the wild. Uh, we're here in the orchid glasshouse at Kings Park. Uh, this is where we keep our conservation and research ex situ collection. Um, and I have a few flowering plants with me here. Um, so we have this little one. This is Areochylus uh, scaba, subspecies scaba. It's a little swamp dwelling bunny orchid. Um, uh, this is Diurus magnifica. Um, it's also known as the donkey orchid. Um, and people would be able to see this flowering in their urban bushlands in Perth. Uh, so this one is Caladenia flava. Uh, this is also known as the cowslip orchid. Um, and this is another species that you would see in uh, your bushlands around Perth. And this one is Caladenia latifolia. It's the pink fairy orchid. Uh, so very similar to the cowslip orchid we just saw. Um, and these are found uh, more in the coastal bushland areas. So Bowl Park is a great place to see this species. This little orchid is uh, Diurus micrantha, um, and this is the bee or goat orchid. Very small form of the donkey orchid, also found in swampy areas and can be found in Perth as well. And this one is also literally about a day away from opening. Um, this is Thelemitra variegata. This is the Queen of Sheba orchid. These. Um, Seedlings that you see here are bustle spider orchid, um, so it's a Caladenia bustleana. When we first started on this project, we were down to four plants in the wild, and that was the extent of the entire species. So we've been working here at Kings Park uh, very hard for the last two years um, to propagate this species. Uh, so we've gone from four in the wild to just over 2,000 seedlings here in the collection. Uh, and earlier this year, we did our first of a staggered set of translocations to save this species. And we put out 200 plants um, in a secret location. Uh, and we'll be monitoring those um, for at least the next five years. Show us your green heart. Get out there and see some orchids this spring. There's plenty flowering in your local bushland. Uh, Please stay on the path. Um, seedlings are incredibly tiny and tend to huddle around adult plants. So just watch where you step, but really get out there and appreciate our amazing orchid flora. Thanks for watching. <laughs>